Hello students. In this video, I am going to present MCQs from the chapter Rotational Motion. Question number 1. A rod of weight W is supported by two parallel knife edges A and B and is in equilibrium in a horizontal position. The knives are at a distance D from each other. The center of mass of the rod is at a distance x from A. The normal reaction on A is. There are four options. You have to select the correct option. So you go through the figure. For the equilibrium of the rod we can write R1 plus R2 equal to W. Here R1 is the reaction at the edge knife edge A and R2 the reaction at knife edge B and W is the weight of the rod acting vertically downward. The distance between two knives is D. Okay. So from the equilibrium of the rod we have R1 plus R2 equal to W and R2 equal to W minus R1. For rotational equilibrium, R1x equal to R2 into D minus X equal to W minus R1 into D minus X. Here we have replaced R2 by W minus R1. On solving, we are getting R1 equal to W into D minus X by D. So the correct answer here it is option C. Question 2. Two particles A and B move towards each other under mutual force of attraction. They were initially at rest. At the instant when the speed of A is V and the speed of B is 2V, the speed of center of mass is 0, 1.5V, V and 3V. Here you can see in the box, in the absence of any external force, the center of mass of the system remains at rest. That is the speed of center of mass is 0. So here your correct answer is. Your correct answer is option A, 0. Now question 3. Three identical spheres, each of mass 1 kg, are kept as shown in the figure, touching each other, while they are centers on a straight line. If their centers are marked P, Q and R respectively, the distance of center of mass of the system from P is. There are four options. Now you go through the figure and try to understand. The center of mass of the system is at Q. Its distance from P is PQ. So the position of center of mass that is PQ equal to M into 0 plus M into PQ plus M into PR by 3M equal to PQ plus PR by 3. So the correct answer here it is option B. Now question number 4. A thin uniform rod of length L and mass M is swinging freely about a horizontal axis passing through its end. Its maximum angular speed is omega. Its center of mass rises to a maximum height of L omega by 6G, L square omega square by 2G, L square omega square by 6G, L square omega square by 3G. So here you can see what type of hint is given in the box. If center of mass rises to a height H, then from loss of kinetic energy equal to gain in potential energy. So we can write half I omega square equal to mgh. On solving, we are getting h equal to L square omega square by 6g. So the correct answer is option C. Question number 5. From a circular disk of radius r and mass 9m, a small disk of mass capital M and radius r by 3 is removed concentrically the moment of inertia of the remaining disc about an axis perpendicular to the plane of the disc and passing through its center is 40 by 9 mr square. 
एम आर स्क्वायर फोर एम आर स्क्वायर फोर बाई नाइन एम आर स्क्वायर सो हियर यू कैन सी मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया ऑफ कम्प्लीट डिस्क नाइन एम आर स्क्वायर बाई टू एंड मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया फॉर डिस्क रिमूव अबाउट एन एक्सिस पासिंग थ्रू इट्स सेंटर एंड परपेंडिकुलर टू इट्स प्लेन इज गिवेन बाई आई डाइस इक्वल टू हाफ एम आर बाई थ्री होल स्क्वायर विच इज एम आर स्क्वायर बाई एटीन नाउ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया ऑफ रिमेनिंग पोर्सन इज आई माइनस आई डैस विच इज फोर्टी बाई नाइन एम आर स्क्वायर सो द करेक्ट आंसर हियर इट इज ऑप्शन ए फोर्टी बाय नाइन एम आर स्क्वायर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्सिया डिपेंड्स ऑन मास ऑफ द बॉडी सेप एंड साइज ऑफ द बॉडी पोजिशन एंड ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन ऑल द एब द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ऑल द एब नाउ क्वेश्चन सेवन फॉर ए पार्टिकल ऑफ रोटेटिंग रिजिड बॉडी वी इक्वल टू आर ओमेगा विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर करेक्ट ओमेगा वेरी जज वन बाय आर ओमेगा वेरी जज वी वी वेरी जज आर and omega is independent of r so the correct answer here it is option c d okay v where is r and omega is independent of r question number 8 three particles each of mass m are situated at the vertices of an equilateral triangle abc of side lcm the moment of inertia of the system about a line ax perpendicular to ab and in the plane abc in gram cm square will be 5 by 4 ml square 3 by 2 ml square 3 by 4 ml square 2 ml square now here you can see in the figure cn equal to l sin 30 which is l by 2 and moment of inertia of the system i equal to ma into 0 because the distance of mass situated at a is 0 from the axis and mb into l square plus mc into cn square so on solving we are getting 5 by 4 ml square so the correct answer is option a 5 by 4 ml square question 9 a circular disc and a circular ring of same mass and diameter have about a given axis same moment of inertia an equal moment of inertia cannot say sometimes equal sometimes not so first of all we are writing moment of inertia of disc equal to half mr square and moment of inertia of the ring equal to mr square these two are unequal so the correct answer is option b question number 10 one quarter sector is cut from a uniform circular disc of mass capital m and radius r it is made to rotate about a line perpendicular to its plane and passing through the center of the original disc its moment of inertia about the axis of rotation is half mr square 1 by 4 mr square 1 by 8 mr square root 2 mr square so here you can see in the figure mass of quarter sector of disc is m by 4 therefore its moment of inertia about uh, the given axis is i equal to half m by 4 r square which is 1 by 8 mr square so the correct answer here it is option c so thank you for watching this video do not forget to like share and subscribe also write your comment in the comment box thank you very much